hey what's going on guys you know why I'm making this video I mean the title already says it but <sighs> I can't believe it it's 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 happening now I want to talk about the Nintendo Direct now I'm not really like when a Nintendo Direct comes on I don't actually watch it like I don't I'm not really interested in that usually I just wait until like you know, like, because after it's done, like, a bunch of videos come up on it, or people that I'm, like, subscribed to talk about it or something, or, like, whatever the case, it's it's plastered everywhere of, like, the detail, so I don't need to watch it, so, because, um, I have other time to be spending, um, so, yeah, <laughs> anyways, I'm actually I'm playing that in Chrono Cross at the moment. I'm actually playing Chrono Cross for the first time, so it's it's pretty cool. Finally trying to figure out how to play that game and, and whatnot. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. Um So yes, the the Nintendo Direct was you know, it it was a Nintendo Direct. I mean there's a lot of stuff that I don't care about. Um there's a few things in it that I possibly could care about, but I haven't experienced those uh series yet. Like Fire Emblem and and whatnot, I know it's a tragedy. I haven't experienced Fire Emblem yet, but I promise to get to it at some point. I do have Fire Emblem Awakening on the 3DS. I just haven't played it. My backlog is infinite, so it it just it never ends. But um, well, it's because I'm always playing like games from all like gens of gaming, from the beginning all the way up to now. So it's like it's it's never ending. Anyways, if if you know me by now, if you know me, you already know what I'm going to talk about. I mean, it's a given. The first well, well, for the first they they showed um they showed Smash, which, you know, they they we all know Mewtwo is coming and they showed Mewtwo and it's like, okay, it's Mewtwo. Awesome. I've been waiting for this. Um and he looks like, he hasn't been changed, really. He looks like he plays... There might be some slight differences, I don't know, but he pretty much looked like he plays exactly for Melee. So, yeah. I never played as Mewtwo that much in Melee. I didn't dislike him. I just never played as him. I don't know why. I just didn't really care to play as him. But now that he's being, like, redone, and even though it's it looks the same... He's being brought in Smash 4. I'm going to I'm going to play with him for a while and I'm going to get back into Smash 4 because like I said, I'm not sure if I said this, but I when Smash 4 first came out, I played the hell out of it all day straight for like weeks and I basically unlocked everything. I 100% of the game. I did all the challenges in the game. I, I I did everything 100%. I got all the trophies. It was a fucking chore, especially the the brutal brutal challenges that you couldn't break with a hammer. Like uh beat uh what was it beat um what is it the what is it called the the arcade mode? Or no, it's um I haven't played Smash in a while. I think it's classic mode. I believe uh, basically where you you like you're on a like a board and whatnot and you have to go through the stage one and two and you have to do all that stuff. I think it's, cla it's called classic mode. But anyways, you have to beat that on 9.0 intensity without losing a life. You can't like even here's the thing, even because you have two stocks when you uh when you go into the fights. You can't lose one stock the entire 9.0 classic mode. All the, the whole thing, like even you like it's it's insane. It's, it's so difficult. It took me a while. I used King DDD to do that because he's got his power. If you can evade with him and his fucking side B, his side special does so much damage and if you can get the evasion down, you're unstoppable. It took me a few tries, but I basically did it with King DDD. You have to do Master Fortress without losing a life. You have to do everything without losing a life. The Master Core. It's an, it's insane, but I did it. But anyways, yeah, like I, I did everything in the game, so I was burnt out of, of Smash, and I was like, I got to stop playing it. And 
I would like to get back into it again. You know, I'd like to play it regularly again just for fun, and, and I'll play with the new characters. But U2, we knew he was coming. You know, we got him. They showed him off. Now, here's the thing that blows my mind. They fucking showed Lucas. Yes. They had Lucas in Brawl. And I, when I became a fan of the whole, the whole Earthbound series, which was in the, the end of 2011, I became a fan. I, I actually discovered the series. I, didn't, I never knew about it. Like I, I kind of knew about it, but not really. I didn't know anything about it. I became a huge fan. I played all the games, Mother 1, Earthbound 0, Mother 2, Earthbound, and Mother 3, Earthbound 2, you want to call it. I've played all the games. They're fucking phenomenal. I think they're some of the best RPGs ever made. Um, they're different kind of RPGs, but they're, there's so much heart and soul. I already talked about it. They're, they're amazing. You should play it. Anyways, take a drink of juice really quick. I'm getting so, I'm like hyper, I'm ventilating. I'm getting so excited that my mouth is getting dry. So anyways, I, I, once I played Mother 3 and finished it, I started maining Lucas in Brawl. Like I was playing him nonstop and I got good with him and I start, I really liked Lucas's play style. It's similar to Ness, but it's a li little bit different. Not really. It's, it's slightly different. Um... But they, he's going to be a DLC character, and I, that's what I was hoping they would do because we know Mewtwo is coming. So we're like, what other DLC characters, you know, what other things can we get, you know, and whatnot. And um, they, they, we know they took out Ice Climbers, they took out Wolf, the Snake, and, and Lucas and all that stuff. And I was upset. Out of all those, I was upset that they took out uh, Lucas because I actually started maining him. And I and I love Lucas, um, and they're bringing him back, and I'm so excited. They played the the fucking Lucas trailer. They played the Mother Three music, uh, so good. They they played, oh, it's, it's just so good. I I just love it, and, and Lucas is back, and I'm I'm so excited, and um, so that was the big. I wasn't really like surprised and excited. Like, I, of course, I'm excited about Mewtwo, but I wasn't like as excited as, as you know as I was for Lucas. But when Lucas they showed that reveal, I was like, what? I was blown away. So that was the first thing that that blew my mind. It's like, yes, he's back. So then I kept watching. There's some other things like that. I'm not. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know Fire Emblem. I haven't played Fire Emblem yet. I haven't played Persona or uh, Shin Megami Tensei. I haven't played those games yet. Um, so I, c I can't really be excited about it. But I'm excited for the people that love that stuff. And, you know, potentially I will be if I get into the series. But then they showed... Um, I'm going to talk about the big one. There's not much to talk about because they didn't really show much. And they only showed, like... 20 seconds they didn't even show anything but i'll talk about that last because that's the big one for me they they showed the the promised uh mario kart 8 dlc which was you know they showed the the animal crossing course and uh it was it was all right i guess they showed the character driving um so the the, the new animal crossing track can like sw it switches seasons each time by random like you know how like the excite bike has had random like loot like bumps and stuff each time you played it well this one it has random like the four seasons it'll change when you when you choose it so that's cool i think that's pretty neat um but something really cool is that they for the first time ever in mario kart history they're adding 200 cc which is extremely harder which is good because the 150 c 150 cc is easy because i played a lot of mario kart um but they it's supposed to be harder and the big thing is it's extremely fucking fast like it is so fast it, it i they they showed they showed it in motion it i can tell it's much faster you're gonna have to actually break it in certain turns to you know to not swerve off of the freaking course so that's pretty cool um so it's like it's like it's like yeah it's like 
uh, sorry about you know sorry for you uh, you F Zero fans because you can kiss your F Zero goodbye. I mean, I I've never played F Zero that much. I played the one for Super Nintendo. I like it. Um, I'm not very good at it, but I do like it. Um, I never played any of the other F Zero games, so I can't consider myself a big fan. I enjoy it. Um, I really like the music in the Super Nintendo one, but um. It's su it's not not to harp on F Zero fans. I, it sucks for them because basically everybody's been wanting F Zero, right? It's like they everybody's want Star Fox, they want Metroid, they want F Zero. That's what people been asking Nintendo to fucking do, right? And what do they do? They're like, well, they want F Zero, huh? They put in the F Zero course in fucking Mario Kart Eight, right? They put in uh, the Blue Falcon cart, and now they put 200 CC where it's like F zero speed, kind of. It's probably not as fast because that F zero goes way faster. But you know what? You you get the drift. They're making it super fast. And now you have F zero cart. You know, say goodbye to F zero. This is your new F zero. Um, they already started with that with that with the gravity shit with Mario Kart eight, the the new gimmick from uh, Mario Kart eight. So. But it, it's fantastic, and I can't wait to d dive into that again. I'll play the new courses. I'll jump on it and, and mess with it, and I'll be fun. Um, so it's it's pretty cool. Uh, and was was there was there anything else that was shown that I cared about? I don't really think so. That was like, it, oh, they showed Mario Maker. I personally don't really care that much about it. It it actually be cool. If you were to get it to play, like for me, if I were to get it, I would probably, maybe I would make a level one or two or something. I wouldn't really delve into making levels. I mean, that is neat though for people that like to do that. But the cool thing is that you can play other people's levels. Like they can make levels and upload it via like Little Big Planet on PlayStation 3. Make levels and upload it to the world of the internet. And uh, you can play everyone's levels. That's that's freaking neat. That's a neat concept. I think it's great. I probably won't get it. I don't know. I I I'm not really interested in it. But I can see it being big. It's pretty cool. Maybe who knows? Maybe some down sometime uh, down the line I'll get it. Who knows? But they didn't show Star Fox. Uh, I'm not gonna say I was disappointed. I wasn't expecting them to show it. I'm. I'm ex I'm kind of expecting them to show it at E3. That's what I want to see. Um, but yeah, like Star Fox, man. Do you realize? Do you realize how long we've been waiting for a Star Fox game? Like, like seriously. And this is this is from Miyamoto, right? Because we had Star Fox on the Super Nintendo, right? It was amazing. Now, it hasn't aged particularly well. What I mean by that is the frame rate. That's that's about it. Everything else is fucking fantastic. I mean, well, the graphics is kind of hit or miss. It's like they were trying a new 3D type of thing on the Super Nintendo, the FX chip. They were trying to do this new thing. I personally still like it because I played it as a child and I have nostalgia. You know, you know the whole gist. But the music is fantastic. It's the best music in the Star, the Star Fox series. Um, so, it, I fucking love Star Fox, and I love its music, um, but, he, me, it's Miyamoto's creation, right, Star Fox 64, well, actually, wait, Star, the cancelled Star Fox 2 for Super Nintendo, what was supposed to hold this over till Star Fox 64, that was never officially released, but basically, the full game surfaced online as a ROM, and it was, you know, it, put online for everybody to play for uh for the for the uh, emulator so and of course people have done reproduction cards of it i have a reproduction card of it back there you can't see because my couch is blocking my my um i have two bookcases full of fucking games like that's super like every, all the consoles that i own for and just a big collection i might show it in a little bit um but yeah, that was canceled. We never got it. Uh, but I have it, and it's I have to say it's fantastic. It's pretty good. 
Yeah, I like it. It's like a mix of uh it's a mix of Star Fox Command and Yeah, it's it's like it's like Star Fox Command before Star Fox Command. You know what I'm saying? If you've played Star Fox Command. Now, I know I'm going to go off on a tangent, but I want to talk about this for a minute. Star Fox Command is mixed. The one for the DS. I've heard a lot of people uh, bitch about the game and, 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 and say it's garbage. And it's it's trash. Which, am I weird? Because I thought Star Fox Command was awesome. I, it's one of my favorite Star Fox games. Is that weird? Um, I just like that they added the new tactical system where you can like it's like a map and it's like a tactics game i i in, really enjoyed that that was the chunk of it and then you had these little these little uh all range mode sections when you get into like a battle like on your tactical thing i thought it was fantastic and i loved all the stories and they fleshed out the characters um now, now people say it's bad fanfic stuff but i just the, the the star fox universe is starved for fleshed out characters and fleshed out stuff all these characters are a mystery and that's great but you know having like an alternate like game like having a thing that that adds these fleshed out things it's fantastic you know peppy what was it like slippy we all hate slippy but he's like the comedic annoyance right we love slippy slippy and we hate him but like in in command like it's like spoilers this is spoilers uh, Slippy has children, and they go to be pilot or pilots too, for our wings. And like he has different children, and the same thing like for Fox, he has children, and his child is like a new and on the new Star Fox team, a completely different team. It just it's just weird little shit like that. It's fun. It's it's nice to see it delve into the stories and the fleshed outness of the whole thing. I I liked Command, but a lot of people didn't. I don't know. But, um, and then we went, and then we got Star Fox 64, which again was Miyamoto, and it was f fantastic. It's one of the best Star Fox games ever made. Like, Star Fox 1 and Star Fox 64 are the top. Star Fox 2 is great, too. But, I mean, I'm talking about the ones that were officially released. And then we got, after Star Fox 64, that was it. There was no more Miyamoto star foxes and then it went to it went to rare right and then they turned a dinosaur planet into fucking star fox adventures which that game it's 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 it's, it's got some nice music you can tell it's kind of a rare game but it's kind of like when rare started to their quality started to dip a little bit it's not very good, but it's not completely bad, but it's not very – it's like average. It's average. It's an average game. Um, like if you were to just sell it Dinosaur Planet because that's what it was originally supposed to be, it would be a generic title. But that's, since they put Star Fox on it, it's like it's kind of makes it worse because it's not its own identity. And it's like, yeah, it, it kind of messed it up Star Fox. And then – that's it. There's no more Miyamoto's. You know, Star Fox Adventures was the start of different developers. And then they did Star Fox Assault. I forget who did Star Fox Assault, but that was a pretty good game. It's not the best in, in the series, but it's not bad. I still had fun with it. People complained about the sections where you're on foot and you got to jump in an R-Wing, jump in a landmass, and do all this stuff at once in, in, in this, this all-range area. People complained about it. I thought it was fine. I liked it. I liked switching all this stuff on the fly the, upon the situation and, and, and making, you know, tactical uh, decisions and, and what you're supposed to do at the certain points in time. It's, I thought it was fun, but, you know, whatever. I'm in the minority, I guess. I don't know. I guess we're, I'm just so starved, starved for Star Fox stuff, you know, that I, you know, I'll take kind of anything, you know. I mean, if it's slightly above average, I'll take it, which is basically assault and, uh, now, Assault was a little bit better than Average. Command, I felt, was good. I mean, it was a DS game. The thing I like about Command is that you can... It asks for your voice recognition. If you go to Options, and you can... You know, it has these questions for you, and you answer them. 
normally in your voice and it records your voice and when you're done it turns your voice into the like the you know the super nintendo's uh star fox sounds where they go when they do the voices it turns your voice into that and i thought that was fantastic i that hit that hit me off guard i wasn't expecting that i was like wow this game just got 10 times better because of that but yeah all those star fox games and it's been we didn't even get a star fox on the wii you know what I mean? And we've been starving for Star Fox for so long. And finally, it's back to Miyamoto. And Miyamoto's doing it. And I hope it's good. I have my fears. But I hope my fears are put to rest when Miyamoto shows the game. And it looks great. And I, you know, I, I just hope. I'm not going to get my hopes up too high. I reserve a little bit of disappointment in myself you know, so this way I'm not completely disappointed. I'll, I'll say that, you know, I knew there was going to be a little bit. So hopefully it's hopefully it's just good. Anyways, Nintendo Direct, right? I went off on a Star Fox tangent. Um, so I can't really think of the other stuff they uh, showed that I was interested in. But here's the big one. Okay, for the past few videos that I've made, I talk about mostly Nintendo because I really it's weird because I will buy any company stuff like I usually I'm I'm everywhere if I'm interested in something I'm there it's that simple like if I don't buy into a console yet you know whatever I, I don't want to buy into consoles especially new ones you know I'm not feeling it but Nintendo is a company that pisses me off they do wrong things I love Nintendo because of their past works, what I grew up on. I, I love that, uh, you know. I hate that I have to hate them sometimes, but I have to because they make dumb decisions and they piss me off and they, they do things to make me very angry. Um, but when they do things right, man, they do things right. And what is – every time I make a video about talking about Nintendo – Every time I talk about I got the Wii U, every time what do I what do I say about the Wii U? What am I mad about? What am I mad about? What do, what do I talk about all the time? That's right, Fatal Frame. Fatal Frame, like I've said before, is one of the best survival horror games of all time. It's fantastic. It's Japanese horror at its finest. It's right up there with the old Silent Hills. And I've been starving for fight Fatal Frame. And for some reason, like, Fatal Frame always came out to the U.S. It always came out to the U.S. And it came out on Sony platforms. It came out on PlayStation 2. They took one and two i believe and they brought it to the original xbox um but it, it was a sony thing and then all of a sudden out of nowhere nintendo buys the ip why why nintendo why did you buy the ip you took my one of my favorite ips of all time and the only hope that i have of modern gaming like gaming that's continued and you've you you fucking headlocked it and you won't let go. And it's like, it, it's unbelievable. We got, after Fatal Frame 1, 2, and 3, look, right here, I got all the games right here. Fatal Frame 1 started it off. Amazing, scary as freaking game. I, I highly recommend everybody plays this game. Fatal Frame 2. Crimson Butterfly. This is my favorite in the series. It is pure brilliant. It's basically what Silent Hill 2 is to the Silent Hill series. Everybody fucking loves it. It's what made you know Silent Hill what it was, it was a franchise. It, it's what made it loved. Um, and then Fatal Frame 3, which this one is weird because I didn't like it as much as the others, but then it kind of grew on me. It slowly, it slowly grew on me because it just, I don't know why it did. There's a lot of scary, there's some stuff in this game that's a, a little bit scarier 
than f the other Fatal Frames. Um, a little bit, some things, but Fatal Frame Two is still the scariest. F they're all d don't d don't let me dis discredit these games. They're all scary in their own right, and they're all brilliant. Um, and I love these. I love this series. I love it. I love Japanese horror so much. It, there's something about Japanese horror. That just I love because it's 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 actually scary, you know. You have American horror. I'm not. I, I won't diss on American horror too much. I'm not gonna. I don't feel like I'm. I'm not in the dissing kind of mood right now. You got American horror. It's it's different own thing. It's not really scary. It's just, you know, bl blood and, and 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 gory slasher slashers flicks I'm, I'm just stereotyping the american horror image but you know what i mean american horror isn't very scary and sometimes it's downright awful um but then you have you know japanese horror that's actually scary like the shit that i've seen in in, in this in this genre like the 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 horror movies of, of of japanese horror that i've seen and the games i've played they're fucking scary like really scary they get to me and i love that you know if a game can get to me like emotionally mentally and just physically and just it, it it taps it like it it touches my soul that's art to me you know what i mean and and these games are definitely it and i've always loved them and, and then nintendo gets the ip and then Fatal Frame 4 which is this game right here i had to import as you can see it's in japan language See, it's uh, what is it right here? It's in, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's Japanese writing. I had to import this. It never came out in America, nor did it come out in Europe. It it only stood in Japan, but I had to get it. Um, the only way that I could play it was I had to mod my Wii and get an English translation. That was a pain in the ass to do, but I did it just to pl just to play this game. That's how much of a fan I am of the series. And then, um. Then they released Fatal Frame 2 Remake for the Wii. They released that to Europe, but they didn't give it to America. It, it just, it, these sucker punches by Nintendo was really pissing me off. And, like, it bothered me. It was like, why? If it was still a Sony, you know, franchise, then we would have got all these games. You know what I mean? Nintendo is, is ruining my life. And then... Oh, and then Nintendo does release something to America, and guess what it is? It's fucking this game. Spirit Camera. This is a spin-off of the Fatal Frame series. That's all it is. It's a spin-off. I got it because I'm a fan of Fatal Frame, but this game's not very good. It's 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 pretty shite. It's shovelware. It's I mean it uses the or it's it's the whole ornamented reality uh you know gimmick i i don't really care about it uh, give me a, a real give me a core fatal frame experience i want the fatal frame the console you know true game like i don't want this spin-off stuff and then you know you know how i talked about like i was like oh could, could you imagine this was before it was even announced as a game or anything i was like could you imagine if they put you know since fatal nintendo owns fatal frame now could you imagine if they put Fatal Frame on the Wii U in high def, the beautiful, like, scary gra like graphics and detail, and you could use, like, the gamepad as the camera? That's perfect. You use the gamepad and fucking, you know, you, you know, you use it, you put it up, and, like, it's like you're holding the camera of Obscura and everything, and it'll be freaking rad as hell, right? And then they actually announced it, and I'm like... Yeah, they're actually being smart. They're taking people's smart ideas and they're actually doing it. That's freaking great. But will we get it? No, we won't because they don't release Fatal Frame to America anymore and it makes me upset. And they released it to Japan. Japan got it and there was no information about overseas, no inf no no plans. It's like it's like now, basically, at this point, I'm hoping that someone does an English translation, and hopefully, there's a way that I could hack my Wii U so I could do all this stuff again, like I did with the Wii. But we won't have to do that, my friends, because on the and this is what I was leading up to the big announcement on Nintendo Direct. They announced it for U.S. and Europe. Yes, they're releasing that the Fatal Frame Five 
it's it's the fifth Fatal Frame game. They're releasing it to the U.S. and I'm fucking happy. You don't know how happy that I am. I don't have to worry about this shit. I don't have to be angry at Nintendo now about this particular thing. Nintendo has won some of my respect back. Some of it. It's a step in the right direction. There, there. I mean, if you can make steps in the right direction, that's that's a good start, you know. And I and I'm I'm grateful that Nintendo actually is doing this. And I should say it's about time. And I should complain. And I should. You should have done this in the first place. Blah blah blah. But I'm I'm no. I'm I'm actually I'm very happy about this, and I'm excited. You know, I we're gonna actually get it, and I'm freaking happy. And. uh so happy but yeah anyways that's all i wanted to talk about was the direct i kind of talked about a bunch of different things but you know me i like to ramble you you love it you know you do so anyways i'm dude this 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 obsession it never it never stops the obsession never stops i've already put over 150 hours into this game i mean i basically had over 500 hours on three ultimate on the wii u and then i jumped onto this and now i'm i just got the zelda gear by the way um i always have it on because i i'm playing it all day i can never like i'm trying to balance out monster hunter 4 and chrono cross because i started that up and i'm trying to balance it out and it's tough there's a few days i i have i have i've gone without playing chrono cross because the monster 4 ultimate obsession is real people it's real like i can't stop playing i will play this shit all day and you know all day will pass by me playing this game and it feels like i only played this game for like three hours it's it's ridiculous so yeah I'm, i always have this game on so um it, it never stops so Hold on, so so basically, yeah, I'm gonna just show it really quick. I have it on. I have the Circle Pad Pro because that's the only way to play it. I'm not sure if you can see it, but let me see if I can. Uh... Yeah, see, there's the there's my uh, Zelda outfit. It's the Skyward Sword Link, which I'm not a fan of. It's my least favorite design, but I'm rolling with it for a little bit. I'll, I'm gonna change it off, but. Like, let me, let me show you, like, see, there, there's the, uh, probably can't see it that well because it's shitty, but there's the hero's bow, and I have a female character. Her name is Dream Blue. Heart. Yeah. I, I do have the Master Sword, too, um, but, uh, yeah. I have the Master Sword. I mess with that a little bit it's basically the sword and shield but it's 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 fun um so yeah that's that's really about it um i just really wanted to make this video because you know how much i talk about fatal frame and uh yeah it's freaking awesome so you guys play fatal frame it's good if you like horror games you gotta play it man you gotta Play it. Play it for me. <laughs> All right, guys. Take it easy.